What's up, everybody? Just finished Spider-Man 2. Wanted to give you my thoughts on it. I call this shooting from the hip. Uh, Spider-Man 2, just straight off the bat, my grade of it, it would be in the 80 range somewhere. I'd probably a mid-80. I'd give it an 85. I'd give it that B, B on the on the teacher scale. I really liked it, but if you've played 1 and 2, you know exactly what you're getting into. A whole lot hasn't changed. The swinging mechanics, all that is the same. They did add kind of this wingsuit mechanic where you can glide through most of the area. I did like that. It made travel go a, go a whole lot faster. But, uh, you know, the, the little side missions, or I don't guess they're side missions. It's the little emergency missions that pop up. If you've played the other ones with a little red, uh, red dot where you go save people, they're pretty much the same as what's in 1 and 2. You know, you jump on a car, you, you stop the car, and you get the bad guys out. There, there's one where you... Uh, uh, you beat some bad guys up, and then you grab a guy, and you take him to an ambulance, and, and then they, they take care of him. I did that mission just, you know, trying to, to, to get my level up so I could unlock things. I bet I got that one a hundred times, and you saved the same guy over and over and over again. You know, after they've already done two of these games, you would think that there'd be a little more more variety in there somewhere that's one reason why I, I think it's an 80 as far as those those little missions that happen as you go through the area and then you got some fire guys you fight but you do you if you do a lot of them it's just the same thing and i finally got i just quit even bothering with them and then i noticed you don't have to because as true side quest unlock as you continue playing the game it gives you enough stuff to to level to level everything up and i kind of wish i would have would have done that. Uh, now, as far as the main story missions go, hey, it's it, it's pretty awesome. The, the story is why you want to play it. I really enjoyed the story. Again, the gameplay is fun. It, it's hard to beat swinging around as Spider-Man, swinging all over the place, using his abilities, and you unlock a whole bunch of cool abilities. Venom comes into play. You get, you get some Venom ability, anti-Venom abilities. Uh, all of that stuff is a lot of fun. I had a great time with it. But you do, by the end of it, and... And the main story missions, it's actually fairly short. Now, I did everything. I, I, I got the Platinum Trophy. It took me a while, but as things opened up, I went and did them. So my, my gameplay, I've heard people say they're beating it in like 10 or 11 hours. It took me a, a good while. I, I, I'd say 15 to 20 hours with all the side stuff I did. Uh, so so I, I'm not knocking the, uh, the, the hours on it. Uh, but, but the main story missions were, were fun. But one of the reasons I'm, I'm knocking it down to, to a B, one, all those little emergency missions you do, it's just the same thing. And I'm telling you, if you've played Spider-Man 1 and 2, you've done did half of that. You've done it so much you don't even want to mess with it. Uh, but another one, hey, it glitches like crazy. I had to cut my PlayStation off three times because I would get to a quick time event and it wouldn't let me press the button. It wouldn't let me do anything. I, I, I went through the level multiple times. I got stuck in buildings uh you 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 would see people stuck in the ground. It has way too many glitches in it. And I posted, I've been posting some of my glitches on TikToks and on my YouTube Shorts. And somebody even said, "Well, that's to be expected. It's it's a new game on the PlayStation 5." No, I'm old school. I don't expect a brand new game, especially one I'm paying seventy, eighty dollars for, to have all these glitches in it. it it's we're, we're we're past that. I remember Horizon, that newest Horizon. It did the same thing, and 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 it. And that's only going to happen w w with our money. We're going to start speaking with our mouths, you know, you, you, with our with our mouths. With our, we do speak with our mouths. We're going to speak with our pocketbook because it's getting worse and worse. As far the, the these are major games from Sony, and they're they're glitching like crazy. And I just I don't think that's I don't think that's right. And again, I had to reset my my PlayStation. Uh, I think it was three times. Cause I could I couldn't do anything I couldn't go anywhere. One time I could reload the mission and it was fine, but there was another one. It would go right back to it where my reload was, and it would not do it would not do anything. But but other than that, just a bunch of the repeat missions, and then the uh, you do get a little tired of the same old fights, doing the same old thing. But again, I, I played all of them, so it could just be I'm burnt out. But I did not replay them before I got this one. But as far as the story goes, it's great. It looks good. Now, look, I know a lot of people saying it's the best thing they've ever seen. There are times when you get close to enemies or, or you get close to the NPCs and they look a little wonky. You do you do see that sometimes. So the graphics kind of go, it's kind of up and down is, is what I saw in it. But 
I know I'm sounding fairly negative there, but you know I've just seen so much praise on it. Overall, if you're a Spider-Man fan, even if you're not, this is a is an amazing game. It's super awesome. The story's awesome. The voice acting and everything in it's awesome. I love Peter Parker and I love Miles. Both the Spider-Man in the game's awesome. The supporting cast is really good. Uh, there are times though where you play as some of the supporting cast. Take that out. Quit doing that. Uh, that there's that, that I don't play Spider-Man to run around as Mary Jane. I, I, that ain't that ain't what I'm wanting to do. That has no abilities and can barely do anything. You you want to be the superhero. That's the whole point of it. But th those sections were very boring to me. Uh, but but overall, you you need to play it again. It's it's in a it's a it's a mid B to me. I'd I'd put it right there at an 85. Uh, but that's my thoughts of the game. I'd love to hear what your thoughts are. Put it in the comments. Let me know. Let me know how you feel. You may not agree with everything I said. Uh, but if you played it, let me know. And hey, just get out there and have fun gaming. That's what this is all about. And I do think with Spider-Man, you will have a good time if you can overlook some of its faults. Thanks for watching. Hope you all have a great one.